O oh, fierce Penthesilea, the scent of war is on the wind. Brother, your foolish passion has doomed us. Across the sea, the hateful Achaeans muster their armies, preparing to invade Troy. King Priam and his kin may aid your cause, for long ago, oaths were exchanged between your warriors on the fields of Phrygia. To reach them, you must travel through the straits and cross the lands of the Thyni on the northern shores of Propontis. They dare forbid you passage, the fools. March west, for vengeance. Through glorious battle, I am redeemed! Okay, guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and we are playing as Penthesilea. That's right, the Amazons are upon us. And, uh, well, not yet, actually. This is early access. Um, Creative Assembly, as always, are kind enough to give me a key for the game early. So uh, it's not out for another week or so. I, I can't actually remember what the date is. There's going to be a link to the blog uh, post in the description for all the details, because it is free for, uh, I think, a whole week. Um, if you opt in to get it in the first week, you get it for free for keeps. So, you know, similar to how on the day of release, Troy was free. So that kind of thing. So, um, yes, so Penthesilea. She's a horde. That's right. She's a horde faction, which uh, is new to Troy. We don't have any hordes in Troy, except now we do. Now we do. So, Penthesilea's Amazons. Penthesilea's Amazons cannot inhabit settlements and instead roam the land on horseback. And I have already um, sent in a bug report for the text here because something's gone a bit wrong. Remember, early access, so ignore the fact that the text gets a bit carried away and keeps going forever. Ignore that. In fact, let's... Uh there you go, I can read it better there. Hordes earn resources in favour by raising settlements, taking advantage of unique capture rewards. Blood Oath. The armies of Penthesilea can swear blood oaths to add bloodsworn units to their ranks. The potency of the oath depends on the amount of battle glory an army has earned. Initiation rights. Amazon can directly recruit only the most basic units. Once a unit has proven itself, it can be initiated into the Amazon War Mysteries and become more powerful. So this I love as a, uh, a mechanic for hordes, because it makes sure that basic units remain sort of, um, I guess, sort of uh, present, right? Um, every time you have to sort of recover from a big defeat, you have to go back to basics. I really like that, sort of that natural sort of ebb and flow. Uh, or, if you just absolutely crush it, then you're going to end up with a bunch of elite units. But you've got to earn your way up there, which I think is really fun. So um, I think it's a nice, I think it's a nice idea for sure, and I like to see more of this. So, boop, defeat the enemy. Pretty straightforward for a first objective. Objective: defeat an army belonging to the following faction. Uh, tiny. Hello, here's Tiny. It's probably not how you say that, but I'm going to say it is Tiny because he's so tiny. So the Tinians of Thrace are mustering their forces and now threaten the livelihood of your people. March out with your army and strike first. Armies may be selected by left clicking. Really? Really, mate? Alright. Well, I left clicked. That's right. Or clacked. I am going to click. I have clacked. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. Uh, so, the biggest thing with the Amazons? They have cavalry. That's right. We have horsewomen. How cool is that? So, uh, they're a very cavalry-focused army, but none of the basic infantry are cavalry. Nope. You have to work your way up to cavalry. You have to earn your cavalry, which I think is really fun. So yes, we will march west for vengeance. So uh, our plan is to uh, crush all of the Greeks. Okay, we are on the side of the uh, Trojans, but there is an event later on that actually lets us decide, because, you know, it's a total war game, it's a sandbox. So similar to how they do uh, Three Kingdoms, you know, you can either sort of follow the story or not bother. So it's rather fun. Embrace so first off, let's get into combat, and then we can take a look at our units there. So no god is on our side. I always find that so foreboding. It, just, it makes you feel like you've been forsaken. But no, no, we just haven't earned enough points with any of them yet because it's the start of the campaign. But anyway, uh, so here you can see Battle Glory. That's right, we have a bit of Battle Glory. We'll want to get more of that. And also Amazon Pride. We can't be reinforced. This is a thing for the whole faction. We cannot be reinforced or reinforce. 
every army we have is on its own. Which is why that Blood Oath system, which I haven't fully explored yet, is important, because it lets you actually bring more units to a battle. Uh, which I think is rather cool, but uh, yeah, if you get a couple of stacks running around, they can't help each other out. Which is actually, I think, the best thing that could happen. As a design choice, I think it's brilliant. Because it means you're not just going to have a bunch of hordes in a big pile and just go from one city to the next, auto-resolving everything. Because they can't help each other. So it forces you to actually engage with the game, and I think that's the main problem with horde armies. You can just spam a bunch of cheap stacks of infantry and just raise constantly, and you never end up bankrupt because you're just raising constantly, and you can just rely on auto-resolve. This way, you have to fight. Uh, well, we don't actually have to fight this one, but I'm going to anyway, because it's the first battle, and it's um, good manners. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's fight. Okay, weather conditions. Chances remaining, three. Current weather, dry. I think we'll just leave it on dry, honestly. This is beautiful, look at that. Gorgeous. Uh, we'll do it on, we'll do it on dry. I don't need, I don't need any modifiers here. But, uh, oh, love it. Absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I've got to say, uh, Troy does, like, forests very well. Much like Three Kingdoms does. It's a lot better than Warhammer. Like, you really get the sense that it goes on for a long time. And that it's all forest, you know, it, it feels like the map turns into, like, additional bits of terrain. Like, it doesn't feel like it, well, it doesn't feel like it's additional. It feels like it's a continuation of the map, which is something that Warhammer sort of struggles with a bit sometimes, I find. You can really tell when the end of the map has, uh, hit. So, we have some ranged units. We have some cavalry, which is so good, because, you know, this game isn't known for its cavalry. Well, the Bronze Age isn't known for its cavalry, so... Uh, that'll do. We'll just group them all together, and we'll charge them in. And you lot can hide in those trees. So, while we're here, let's take a look. So we have initiates, that are some of the very basic units. Uh, all of the Amazons roster are female. Of course, because the Amazons. Of course they are. So we've got some cheap spearmen there, and they do have shields as well. Uh, over here we have uh, Labris infantry. I'm probably saying that wrong, but they're uh, slightly more elite. They're not really elite. They're they're not the most basic troop. They have had one sort of upgrade from the most basic axe infantry, so they're slightly better. Same with um, these uh, Stigadores as well. These have had one upgrade as well. So, very cool there. Then, of course, we have uh, the Stone Slingers, which, uh, you know, just basic troops. Basic troops there. And then we have the Huntresses that are actually uh, a level up from the normal uh, skirmish infantry. So, very cool stuff. Okay, let's actually get you right behind. Uh, and of course we have um, uh, uh, Penthes... Uh, Penthesilea. Penthesilea, there we go. It looks pretty cool. I really like her armor. She looks great. Very cool. Although what I really like is it's... It's almost like they decided to sort of uh, embrace the fact that the Amazons, uh, the sort of Amazons in the Amazon, right? It seems to have that vibe somehow, as well as the classic Bronze Age thing. So they're sort of merging a bunch of mythos together, which I really like. It's fun. Also, she has Vanquish, which actually gives charge and speed bonuses for nearby units. So I'm going to have these guys benefit from that in a second. Boop. Good. Good stuff. And I guess you guys can start shooting them. You're going to have to turn around. And uh, let's get into those slingers with our cavalry. Excellent. Alright. This is looking good so far. So these guys are leaving themselves wide open, which is beautiful. And, uh, wow, you guys are busy. Jeez. Alright. Cool. Guess you can keep running and we'll get our cavalry in here. Yeah, they're already running. Almost all dead. Come on, cavalry. <laughs> Battle's going to be over before you get in there. Gutting. Yeah, they're shattered. Cool. Alright, go chase down these young spears. So the horsewomen, they are quite light. They are light um, cavalry, so they're not going to be sort of... Um, they're not the great shock troops, really. They're best at chasing fleeing units and, and rear charges. But the rear charges, less for damage and more for, like, overall um, uh, sort of uh, leadership. Debuffs. That's where they're best. So if you look, they'll do some damage because they're not braced, but the health bar not moving a lot. But we did manage to break them, and that's what you really want the horsewomen for. Oh, and it looks like uh, Crethius is running away, and that's a victory. Huzzah! Decisive victory. 
good stuff. Cool. I love it. Uh, take a slaves. That might be an idea. No, I think we're going to kill them all. We're going to go uh, with battle glory. We're going to start collecting some of that. So use the captors as prey for our young warriors. Many Amazons will prove themselves in combat today. Which is nuts. That's, um, that's pretty barbaric. I love it. Okay, good stuff. Good job. Good job. So, we defeated them. As is tradition. Lovely. And next up, recruit more units. They want us to have 12 units. Well, we can make our way there for sure. We can make our way there. Uh, so, the number of men you command. That's a typo. How dare they? Uh, although, it's men, troops, whatever, you know. You command... Uh, the number of men you command will need to grow in order to meet the challenges ahead. To recruit more combat units to swell the ranks of your armies. Will do. Will do. Although, I could just reach the town and I'm pretty sure... Uh, she does have a bit of a garrison, doesn't it? Tell you what, Death we're going to recruit some more, and then we're going to charge in. So let's get some. I'm going to go with some initiates. I'll see to it. Cool. And uh, as you can see, they do... Let's pin that. They do have uh, bones versus large, being spearmen, and they'll make a good front line. Uh, and we can actually upgrade these into cavalry as well, which I will show you uh, after we've done decree. Uh, I'm going to go horde growth. That's going to be useful straight away. So we're going to work on that for starters. Well done, right, which one is it? Not diplomacy, uh, divine will, no initiation rights. This is where we're looking at. So here is uh, essentially our upgrade tree for our infantry. So every time we get up to, I think it's five chevrons for any of these. Or is it four chevrons? I think it's uh, four, maybe. It's whenever you get to silver chevrons. So I think it's four chevrons. Um, then you can upgrade them. But only if you have the building for the next tier, right? So it isn't a case of build a building and then you can build the next tier of infantry or cavalry or whatever. Uh, no, no, no. That just allows you to upgrade the uh, basic units. So, you want to keep track here. You want to think, okay, well, we want a lot of bowmen, right? Or toxaris. Uh, so we want a lot of them. So we're going to have to recruit a bunch of stone slingers and get them a bunch of experience so we're ready to upgrade them when, uh, when we have the building for it. So I really like that, that sort of forward planning. Um, it's really fun. And the fact there's branching upgrades, you know, I think is really fun. Because if we get a bunch of warbands, then we could get some uh, Labris infantry or some uh, uh, Corina uh, Corinates as well. So it's really fun. I really like it. So a bunch of infantry uh, here, caval uh, chariots as well. Lovely. Yeah, there's some good stuff. Victory Very fun. Hard. So I like that. I'm a fan of it. Uh, also, we start with uh, one thing that's sapping away at our food, but so far we have plenty. And uh, we also have this building for scouts that allow us to see further than most armies do. So that I really like. I really like that. It's fun. It works wonders. Uh, also, I am tempted to double back here because sirens are available from here. But it will mean declaring war on these guys. So I wonder. Yeah, I think we can do that. I think we can do that. So I think I might double back and leave this guy to it for now. Uh, that will give us vision over the area if we take it. Oh, that's a point. These little icons. This will show us the bonuses we get for taking places. This will only be the first time that we take the place, as far as I'm aware. I don't know if it replenishes eventually, uh, these little bonuses, but I'm pretty sure it's just a one-time thing. So as you sort of uh, pillage your way across uh, the, uh, the various nations, you can't really go back and keep pillaging the same places, which, again, brilliant in a horde faction. It's such a great way to make horde factions better um, and feel more appropriate to what they're like, because, of course, you know, just destroying everything in your wake, you can't just stay in the same place and keep raiding and getting infinite resources. Um, it encourages you to keep moving, and I think that's fantastic. That is such a better sort of... Um, a better sort of encouragement. It pushes you to... At, like behave like a horde, you know, like a like a Hun or a Mongol or whatever. It, it encourages that kind of behavior because once a place is spent, you have to keep moving. And that's brilliant. I love it. So big points for that. Big points. So uh, let's level her up, shall we? Are we going to get extra weapon damage for nearby units or are we going to get the Blood of Heracles? I like this one. I like this one a lot. It's going to buff um, uh, Penthesilea, which uh, I think is good. I want her to be dueling people and getting some work done. So let's go ahead and get that. And that'll do. Lovely. And let's end the turn. Okay. Why have we uncovered so much of the map? We haven't taken this yet. 
Okay, well, never mind. So, issue a decree. Well, we're on it. We're on it. We're already doing that. We're already doing that. Your people are eager to follow your orders. Not that eager. Seven turns left. Uh, for it is through your wisdom that they will flourish. Issue a royal decree and they will be put back to work. Yeah, fine. Fine. It'll do. Okay, can I reach here? I can reach here. Hooray. Uh, ooh, they're going to bring some allies to fight us, which, honestly, I could care less about. <laughs> Go on, you. Bring it on. Show no mercy. So, this should be straightforward enough. Uh, let's hop in there. Weather conditions? Fog. Mm, reduced visibility, huh? Uh, I mean... They do have archers and we don't, so this probably benefits us more than them. So let's go with the fog. Bunch of uh, scary warrior women running out of the fog. Sounds like my kind of party. Uh, so let's keep you on one side. Uh, I'm going to put you on that flank. And... Penthesilea. 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 One day I'll be able to say her name first time. Uh, alright. You guys head over there then. And, uh, you lost can hide in those trees. Cool. So, it looks like they're not very well hidden. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Alright, come here, you lot. Pretty quick. Our warrior women. Pretty quick. Pretty quick on the march. Alright, come on, guys. Let's do this. And, uh, yeah, we're hidden there. Good. Good. God, do I need to have you run all the way over there? I want to go get a Leganor. Come on. Okay, we're actually going to move around with them. And the cavalry are going to move around the back. Mostly just to, you know, stress them a bit. Your hero is under attack. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Whatever. All right, bonus speed. Might not get the charge bonus. Actually, it looks like we will. Looks like we will. Perfect. Oh, okay. Great. Love it. Big fan. Oh. Yeah, big fan of that. Uh, okay. Good stuff. Okay. Good stuff. All these guys getting pinned down rather nicely. And you lot can move out this way. Get another charge into them, please. And wow, we are crushing these guys. Okay. Yeah, keep moving that way, please. This is going well. Oh, they're broken too. I guess keep moving further. Lovely. Move back up this way. Because it looks like our infantry have got this. You know what? You just chase them in melee. That's all good. Uh, okay. Cavalry. Oh, they're broken too. Alright, into the uh, Phrygian warriors. And uh, looks like Penthesilea. Penthe Penthesilea. Penthesilea. One day, guys. One day. Because funnily enough, I don't know anyone with that name. So, brilliant. Job well done. And that's a victory. Oh, I love having cavalry. Being able to flank that quickly is just... Ah, oh, feels good. Okay. Good stuff. Lovely. Excellent. Uh, right, we are going to raise and enslave. Because I want that, uh, a little bit of battle glory. But I want the extra movement, I want the horde growth. Uh, this one just gives us a lot more battle glory. So, you know. And administration efficiency for enacting royal decrees, which might speed up our tech, actually. Which does sound rather nice. But I want the horde growth. Oh, also, uh, we have no wood or stone income. So, for the horde buildings, it does take wood and stone. Even though they're on the move, which is sort of weird, but it still takes it. So, uh, we'll have to be careful with that. And now, we can get some sirens. I've never actually hired sirens in this game before. So, uh, it should be fun. What do you even do? Ooh, we can get a few of you, huh? Oh my god, is that 80 gold upkeep? All right, well, that'd be nice to get um, in a billion years, I suppose. I live to fight on. Yeah, but, 
Yeah, not going to do that then. It's nice that we have the option to recruit them now, though. All right, you head over here. We should be able to attack uh, Durkos next turn. It's, you know, it's nice that we took that. We've got some more people who hate us, sort of behind us, but that's all good. I'm cool with it. Uh, right, what are we going to get now? I think I'm going to get some Amazon Chargers, because I want some more light infantry that can uh, do some skirmishing. And we can upgrade them uh, to cavalry later on anyway, so it's all good. Okay, we'll recruit more units. Well, I did that, didn't I? So we've got some more food and bronze, which is lovely. Uh, upgrade our horde army is next. Expanding the horde will allow the construction of more effective buildings. A horde army may be expanded by upgrading the first building on the horde buildings tab. Population surplus points are required for the construction. So basically, upgrade this to uh, a war camp from the war tents. What's a bomb one? War circle. Doh, isn't that cute? Uh, so we'll be working on that. Oh, also, what is nice, it does give experience per turn. So once you get this like heavily upgraded, you're going to have your basic units. Uh, ready for upgrading a lot sooner as well. Because as you can see, we don't have a lot of chevrons on these guys yet. So it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Uh, okay. So, let's go to... Oh, my bad. So, one thing that I like and dislike is that the encamp stance doesn't cost you anything. Okay, it doesn't cost you anything to enact that. So, you can recruit and do whatever else uh, without having to save any of your movement. But then if that's the case... Why even bother having it? Why not just have that as the default stance? You know? Just get rid of it entirely and just make it so if you're in a, just a normal stance you can recruit and build buildings and whatever else. You know? It seems weird to have to pick and choose between them. But, oh well. Cut them down. Okay, so Durkos. Come here Durkos and Chromis and uh, Taraleos. This might be a little challenging. This could be a little challenging. Uh, do they actually have any... No. No, it's just going to be it's gonna be quite a basic... Uh, you know, sort of minor settlement battle. So they have some defensive terrain, but it's not too, too bad. So, let's hop in. And fog. Again, that worked out nicely last time. So, may as well do it again. Uh, cavalry! It's sad these guys can't vanguard. They f I feel like they should. I feel like they should be able to vanguard. But oh well. Uh, right, you lot, straight down the middle. Let's get these guys to one side. Uh, I guess the Axemen. Middle as well, with you. And, um... Hmm. Yeah, Javelin's on the side. Brilliant. So that'll do. That'll do. What? There we go. Okay, cool. Where are they? Found them. Found them. And let's get the cavalry right round the back. This is a pain. Yeah, we're going to funnel downwards, which I think is okay, actually. It'll work out rather well. We're going to have to go for that fighter, which will, which will sting a bit. Definitely going to sting a bit. Okay, how is that the route that you're taking? Oh my god. Sometimes locking a group is real dumb. Okay, I think I might give them the speed bonus, because I don't like getting shot at like this. So yeah, screw it. Also, you guys shoot at archers forever. Thank you. And you lot, actually just line up there if you would. That would be great. And I guess I'll go those Trojan Warriors first, actually. How are you not doing? Okay. Now come on, cavalry. Get around the back. Need you there as quick as you can. Okay, that's good. We got some good damage in there. And, yeah, just going to wait for them to sandwich themselves. I love it. And you keep shooting at them, please. And come on, cavalry. Come along, boys. Okay, okay, how are you doing this? This is very strange. You just attack them, please. Thanks. And, okay. That'll have to do. It's not perfect, but it'll have to do. Some damage into them, and... Alright, let's charge into the middle there. And now, what are you up to, huh? You're gonna kill Kromos there? That'd be nice. I'd really appreciate that. 
Come on, Cav. Okay, beautiful. You guys are doing a great job. In fact, everyone over here is doing a great job. Love it. Yep, you go for them. And this is wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for making this so simple for me. Yeah, you guys line up. Oh, which ones? Oh, those ones. Oh, that's fine. We'll be fine. We'll just shoot at them with everything. And, uh, ooh. Okay, his javelins are struggling a bit. Uh, looks like this guy's almost broken, so... Let's trigger Vanquish. You guys charge in again. Looks like that whole flank is gone. So let's start shooting him, shall we? And actually, you attack that way. Good. Oh, right, yeah, I should probably have these guys do something, huh? In you get, lads. In you get. And cavalry keep chasing. And that rear charge should do the job. And let's get our huntresses out of there. Guys, are you kidding me? Really? You got stuck on that one guy? Come on. Victory is close enough to Come on. taste. There we go. That'll do. Uh, that should be everything, right? That's a win. Yeah, as army losses. Excellent. End of the battle. Decisive victory. <coughs> oh, good. Good, good, good. Nice. Oh, God, that just... Even without blood and gore, that just feels very horrible. I don't like it. Something about being stabbed is just... Ugh. Always gives me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, being shot. Just like, yeah, pia pia pia, people go flying. But no, just like being stabbed is just... Ugh, don't like it. Don't like the thought. Um, not that I want to get shot. Please nobody shoot me. Um, I prefer you didn't. Uh, let's raise an enslave. My skill is proven. Also, don't enslave people. That's just, just not very polite. Um, I think we'll go for these guys next. Because I kind of want the extra food. I want to get a nice big, big surplus of food. It's going to yeah, it's going to give us five thousand. Is what I'm trying to say using words. Uh, you need a strong back and arms, and no fear of confined spaces, of course. Oh, and the, the nerve by the cartload. That's nice. I like the siege holdout time going down. Ooh, an extra campaign movement range. That's good. Mere minutes after the plan has been agreed, this one can be found at the very thick of the action, risking life and limb. That's very good. I like that. Achieve victory in battle with no reinforcements. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's hard not to get that, honestly. Oh, and see, told our time going down again. Really good for a horde army. Because if we don't want to actually attack the city, we can just wait. And, you know, the less we have to wait, the better. So only ashes and blood lie in this despoiler's wake, covering the ground so only death may prosper there. Cool. Uh, so that's all good news. Yeah, let's start him down here. We are going to declare war on him. We'll be at war with everybody. I really don't mind. Um, we're just going to keep moving, so we don't need to care. It's all good. Uh, gains rage passively. That's rather nice. Or extra morale, but I mean... Uh, hero frightens nearby enemy units. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty great, actually. Oh. Something else will probably give us fear anyway. Let's let's go with blood first. I want her to gain some more points so she can keep using her abilities. That's uh, jolly handy. Jolly handy. Uh, okay, so let's look at our buildings. Let's see what else we can build, if anything. We can. We do have some growth. So I could build the Apprentice Smiths, which would be very satisfying. That gives extra damage and armor for all of our units. And we can just keep upgrading that, which I really like. I think having some Smiths along with us that feels like a good strategy, because uh, these other ones, I think we can hold off for a bit. Because we don't have the chevrons to actually improve anyone anyway, so we don't need to go with the recruitment uh, buildings just yet. Because, you know, we just, it, it's not going to help us. It's not going to help us for quite some time. Although it will give us an extra recruit rank for recruits, which is quite good. It helps you get to that uh, level quicker, which is good. So, Apprentice Smiths will go with. Just buffs for the whole army. Sounds wonderful to me. Uh, right. It's definitely going to stretch. Good to get that in early. So, let's go with... Uh, probably need some ranged units. Let's go with skirmishers. I like the armor piercing of these guys. You know, if we, if we fight against anything, sort of any decent spearmen or something, having these guys will be a godsend. So, let's crack on. Okay, Thracian Hospitality. 
<laughs> I don't think it's very hospitable. Uh, Raze will sack two different settlements belonging to the following tribe, Thracians. There are a lot of different Thracian tribes. They really are. So, uh, as blood craving Ares roused the kings of the Ar Agaves, he whispered revenge to dark eyed Penthesilea. Praise be to Ares, your father, for the kingdom beyond the uh, Axianos, Axianos Sea are falling prey to the war god's ever enticing wiles. As the Argives, maybe, master their men, you shall march into their lands and exact vengeance for the sacking of sacred Themyscira years ago. The Thracians standing in your way refuse your, you hospitality, so you shall take what you need by force. And for that, we'll get uh, some plunder. Oh, that's good. Just a bunch of experience for everyone. And a bunch of resources. Lovely. Lovely stuff. Well, let's, uh... Let's not make them wait. Hello. And yes, no care about, uh... Declaring war on people. Everyone blood. shall be a target, okay? For we have been wronged. So, we're gonna take down everybody. Uh, also, Battle Glory, still only on Tier 1. So that does go up. Although, uh, I don't know where he actually tells you that. Let's have a look. This is uh... Do, do, do. So, Blood Oath here, I know talks about it. Uh, so, this will actually allow us to unlock uh, different uh, Blood Oath um, levels, which basically means we can get different um, sort of tiers of uh, reinforcements, essentially. Though, I don't entirely know how that works completely yet, because I've had no time to play this game before I've needed to record stuff. So, um, what a hassle. Uh, hmm... I wonder... Faction Summary? You mentioning it there? Where is that marker? I really wish I knew where that thing was. I have no idea. Um, now it does tell us what this is down here. It doesn't tell us the tier, though, anywhere. I'm sure it's somewhere. I'm sure it's somewhere. It would be weird if it wasn't somewhere. Here it is! I found it! I found it! I'm a genius. Uh, so, yes, Battle Glory. As this goes up, and we get more Battle Glory, we'll get different tiers. So here you see if we get to the very maximum, up here, uh, which actually is not that, it's not that high, 350, it's not that high at all, uh, we'll have more Blood Oath units summoned, and uh, of course the sort of uh, what is summoned will depend on what tier uh, we've got to with this, you know, we'll get better and better units as we continue to upgrade this. So uh, I could unlock this soon, can't I? How much does this cost? Oh, 500, we have 240. So, yeah. Come so as you spend down. that on uh, upgrading, your different Blood Oath level, then of course you're going to run out of um, Battle Glory in this little thing. So you'll miss out on those buffs as you improve we things. So, let's attack. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, whatever, that'll do. Okay. I find weather doesn't make that much of a difference, so I'm always happy just to go with anything, honestly. Uh, okay, you guys line up. Yeah, we'll have... Uh, our spears on the side, like we did last time. We've got a bunch more skirmishes now. Uh, I think we're going to have them on one side. And we'll have them there. And uh, Penthesilea said it correctly first time there. I definitely had to look at the word while I was saying it though, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, Alright, that'll do. Cool. So, you lost. That's right, I'm charging right in. I'm a lunatic. Okay, you move up and around. And uh, javelins can hide in the grass here. Good. Okay, come on, ladies. So, the terrain is interesting. Lots of little, little cliffs and crags and whatever else. Little town on the cliff faces here. It's beautiful. Lovely little settlements. Love them. So, come on, boys. <laughs> Say, boys. Come on, ladies. Whenever you're ready. You know what? Let's start getting some damage in there. Good. Okay. How are you not doing? Fine. All right. How are you lot doing? Oh, oh, they're gonna try and run. They're trying to run. That should do some good damage to him. Excellent. 
Okay, let's get a nice charge into that. Lot, we are suffering some damage, of course, that's okay. Okay, good. Now let's split you guys up a bit. And you go for the militia warband over there. And they should break very soon. Alright, you lot, one of you can go for them. Your hero is under Everyone attack. else run in. Yeah, that's fine. Do some buffs, because we can. Okay, good stuff. And nearly gone. <laughs> Shattered. Excellent. Uh, so yeah, he's going to get whittled down. This is definitely where the um, where most of the enemy lies. Is close enough to taste. Yeah, figured. Figured. All right, you go for those archers because I reckon the javelins are going to be the best flanking force here. Oh, they're already all breaking. All right, you go for the Fijian warriors then. Uh, I mean, he's getting whittled down pretty quick. Oh, yeah, they're down as well. All right. I think we're done. Just have to wait for this guy to break. He's going to suffer army losses in a second anyway, isn't he? I'd be very surprised if he didn't. All right. Whenever you're ready, mate. Whenever you've had enough. Oh, he's still holding on. No, he's, he's gone. <laughs> there we go. Well done, ladies. Well done. Decisive victory. Okay, stabby stabby. Brutal. Love it. I think we all know that I don't love it, but still. Uh, so, get some experience as well, which is nice. And the old raisin enslave. Because we do get a few more resources. And I do I do want to get more uh, building resources for sure. Proven. Plenty of food now. Plenty of food. At least for now. That earn us a bunch it. of bronze. Like 6,000 bronze. I mean, we're actually earning bronze right now. So that'll be nice. I'd love to earn some gold though, so I can actually get some of these uh, some of these sirens. Forest fighters, huh? Very cool. Yeah, I would like to get some of them. Um just so much gold. It's crazy. So much gold. Bunch of gold diggers. Let's get some Probably get some warbands, right? Probably need some armor piercing, I reckon. It is armor piercing, right? Yes, it is. Um cool. And growth, we don't have much of a surplus, so we have to wait for that. Uh, ooh, ooh, oh god, this is tough. Fatigue reduction is gigantic, but this will let us replenish our units quicker because we'll have higher rank recruits. Plus one to recruit rank of all new recruits is jolly handy uh, when it, you, have to, you have to rely on your unit ranks. But no, just my plan is to not be replenishing anything, so... You know, people are going to get wiped out a lot less if they stay um, fighting fresh. So, why plan for failure when you can plan for success? Okay. Ah, here we go. There's that event. Evidently, the Danans will wage war at any stage. Even if Menelaus of Sparta was to get Fair Helen back, his allies would find another pretext to bring doom and slaughter across the Aegean before the gates of sacred Troy. The major question, then, concerns where exactly you stand. I'm going to support the Trojans. I'm going to. So we're going to do that. Which uh, is rather nice. It means that none of any um, pillar of Troy um, chap. If we have a look. They might the be. I'm not sure. sure Are you? There we go. Trojan pillar. So any of these Trojan pillars, anyone with this little keyword, uh, they're not going to betray us ever. Which is really cool. I really like that. Oh, also, um, <laughs> if we have a look at our objectives, by the way, our objectives for a Homeric victory is to uh, complete all the steps of the epic mission chain. So far, we haven't even started it. Yay. I'm pretty sure that does start from us saying... Yeah, we'll support the Trojans, but anyway, that we'll see. I have no idea how long it's going to take. And then we have to gain 5,000 to battle glory. So far on three, uh, 320, which, honestly, I think I think this will fly by. You know, I don't think it'll be long before we get that. And then make sure the following factions are destroyed or confederated. Athena, Sparta, and uh, all three. So, yeah, that's... That's a hassle. For total war victory, though, we've got to get rid of Troy, which is sort of insane. But whatever. It's all good. So, um, but yeah, how insane is that? That's, there's just a lot. It's a lot to do. 
Because you've got to remember, Sparta's down here. Literally the other side of the map. So we have to traipse the entire way across the map. Oh, am I at war with you? Yes, I am. Cool. Come fight me. Nothing left to lose. First, I'll destroy this, though. I want it. I want your bronze. <laughs> Give me your bronze. Embrace your doom. Yep, embrace it. No That's mercy. right, auto-resolving. Don't need to fight all of these battles. We've basically got a full stack now. There's no need. Although, auto-resolve is such a tyrant when it comes to keeping weakened units alive that I know for a fact, right, I'm going to just say it up front, I'm going to end up auto-resolving a bunch when we get to these sort of battles that are just boring to fight. And I will lose a bunch of units, you know, that even have some ranks in them that we could upgrade soon, and I'm going to have to replace them with cheap crap, and I'm going to complain every time, okay? It's going to give you a heads up on that, but I won't stop, because I'd rather just moan, spend two seconds moaning about auto-resolve taking away my recruits than actually spending, you know, ages fighting these battles that don't need fighting. So, just... You have to accept that, okay? You have to accept that. Raise and slave. So, we got that already. That was quick. So we have our Thracian hospitality done. On. So, that is done. Lovely. Uh, next up, we're going to run over this way because if we destroy this, Apollo will like it. So we may as well get Apollo on Kill side. He seems, he seems important. Seems important, old Apollo. Uh, people seem to take him very seriously. So... What next? Let's get one more stone slinger. I'll deal with it. Yeah. Now we have a couple of slingers, and we'll have uh, four units of skirmishers, including the huntresses, of course. And, um, I guess four axemen, including the upgraded one. Uh, we'll have... Yeah, because I think they upgrade to... Uh, yeah, I think the Amazon Chargers upgrade to the uh, Stigonores, though two of them I'd like to be cavalry, preferably. And we also have initiates as well. Which I kind of want to say initiates. Even though just it is the word initiates. But it's Greek, so initiates. Uh, also, upgrades, by the way. You can you can click and have a look. Well done, so, oath sworn are what we'll get from these guys. So there you go. There you go. Uh, so yeah, cool. Alright, love it. Um, yeah, let's see if we can't get this under siege. Swell your ranks. I read that as smell your ranks, <laughs> which would have been a bit different. Uh, oh, and we, we mission successful. We did it. So we have a 20 stack now. So the specter of war clouds the horizon in all directions. Increase the size of your forces further, for the battles will come. Uh, the battles to come will tax your strength. Cool stuff. Um, also, population surplus still only on two, which is a bit disappointing, Acceptable. but it is what it is. Massacre them. Yeah. Man killer. <laughs> Don't hold back. Love it. Uh, okay, so I think what I'm going to do is just sort of chill here. We can take like them. that. And uh, we'll wait a bit. In fact, how how long will they withstand? Uh, two turns until they start suffering attrition. Which, I'm happy to wait Cut that out because down. if you look, we are getting population growth going up. We are getting replenishment while we stand here. Like You get all the bonuses that you would just from standing about. Which I really like because it makes total sense. Because you're used to being on the move, so whether you're camped over here somewhere or whether you're camped besieging a place, who cares, right? It's all good. So um, I hope that's by design and that's not just that they haven't, you know, there's something that's not triggering or whatever. Because I like it. I think it's cool. So, um, yeah. Oh, also one thing. I changed the setting a while ago. Uh, the background, sadly, is affected by depth of field, which I think is a real pity. Because I really like depth of field in this game. But, uh... Do, 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 do. Where's depth of field gone? Oh, right at the bottom. Cool. Boop. But yeah, I like depth of field in battles. I think it looks really nice in Total War. Um, but yeah, it ruins the background in Troy, which I think is real sad. I hope they could admit that. That would be great if they could do that. I might, uh, I might have to send that feedback in. Anyway, guys, uh, the reason I'm zoomed in like this is because we're going to call it a day here. That's right. It's going to be quite short for an episode one, but um, I haven't had much warning. Uh, with this uh, with this build, sadly, um, usually get a lot better warning. They said this is not going to be a trend, so we're going to have more time to prepare, you know, next time there's DLC looming or whatever. But uh, right now, I need to just make sure I've got stuff, you know, 
recorded and coming out for you guys. Uh, it's the nature of YouTube. So anyway, we're going to end it here and uh, another episode tomorrow. So guys, if you enjoyed this, please do comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, guys.